my name is Stephen Upton and welcome to my From the Air series. In this video we're going to be looking at the Butte de Vauquois. Before the First World War this was a small village situated on top of a hill. However, in September of 1914 it was the meeting point of the French and the German armies in this area. Germans advancing as we look at this video now from the left, the French from the right and they met either side of the hill. And then in 1915 they tried really hard each side to capture the entire hill and as you can see from this plan they tunnelled underground. Throughout 1915 and into 1916 over 500 mines were detonated. What you see in front of you now is the in the valley at the foot of the hill is the current village. Here at the top of the hill is where the original village stood. French front lines to the right, the Germans over to the left and as we can start to see now what became of it over 500 minor detonations underground have left absolutely no trace of this village. What we would be looking at now originally would be straight down the high street and this is an aerial photograph from the time and as you can see just a series of craters the trenches in the foreground of the German side which on this video now is to our left nowhere else on the western front suffered from underground mining the way this village did completely obliterated the biggest mine detonated in 1916 by the Germans was 60 tonnes of high explosives and that is that huge crater that's right in front of the camera now. Even today, after over a hundred years of erosion, it's still 80 metres deep. Sorry, 30 metres deep and 80 metres in diameter. It would have been a lot deeper at the time. And as we fly over where the village once stood, on the left you can see German trenches, very little on the right where the French trenches were. And there's a memorial on the right to all those soldiers that were killed here. It's been estimated that the remains of 8,000 French and German soldiers were never found. They were completely disintegrated in these explosions, but over 500 mine detonations. The church would have been now just in front of us, centre camera there originally. Just a big hole in the ground. This was filmed early in December of 2016. And as a consequence the sun is quite low in the sky and what you see in the shadow is frost. It was just slightly below zero when I filmed this. So a very cold day. But with the sun being low and it casts shadows over these craters, it gives some perspective to their depth. I've really no more to say about it from an historical point of view, other than the French never captured the summit of this hill. They spent most of the war on either side of the craters, the French and the Germans. And it wasn't until September of 1918 that the Americans finally took the whole hill, as the Germans were withdrawing in their final withdrawal in the last few weeks of the war. But I'll leave you now with some music as you look at the Butte de Vauqua.
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this film not just enjoyable but also educational. If you'd like to see more of my films, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just put in a search for Stephen Upton. Thank you very much.